The Hard Truth Season 9 with Akosia Konedu. Proudly brought to you by Echo Bank. Nana, for peace sake, why can't Afoko himself go to the people and say, okay, I've come, L let's see, discuss this. You see, it, it looks Is he like acting it, so no, bossy no, no, and... No, no, no. Yeah. If you know Mr. Afoko and what he's been able to do with his life, you see that he's so humble a person. Very, very humble. My point is that don't create this wrong impression. That, Which one? The one you just created. That look, why not uh, Afoko? No, because if you say he's a humble him. person, you so if, 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 let me just say, if it's Akosi, I'll just say, okay, well, maybe I should have come myself and then I'm coming now. Let, no, let's talk. No. Why can't he do no, something the like that? Side. The other side. The other side, I come to no, him. No, those who are plotting to get him out could also have said that, oh, yes, one of us. He's been accused of A, B, C, D. Let's legally, constitutionally, afford him all the processes to, 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 to respond to the allegations. Mm. Why were they in a hurry? So has Afoko also written to them to say that I, I think that having been treated fairly and I think we should go through the process legally by our constitutional his, uh, you know, his lawyers, handbook? His lawyers did. Because they wanted a ruling or a decision on the objection to their jurisdiction. I tell you, you can't listen to my matter. Mm -hmm. You have to say something in respect of that. Oh, I can listen to it. Or I can go into the matter because of A, B, C, D. You, before you proceed, all these things do not happen. Mm. Then somebody calls a meeting. You see, in this our party constitution. A national chairman is only a person who can call a neck meeting. But if that person's on suspension, no. can he call Even a neck before, meeting? Please, please, in the same party constitution, if the appeal period, the days limited for appeal, has not elapsed, you are not referred to as a suspended chairman. Mm. If my memory will serve me right, if you permit me, I'll read Article 4, please do. 4 C or so. Please do. And it will tell you. But what, what have you heard? What is being pushed in the media? That uh, four four C, the executive committee shall make any recommendation it deems fit to promote discipline within the party, including the suspension and or expulsion of a member. The recommendation automatically comes into full force and effect where no appeal is lodged against against it in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. So are you this, saying this constitution so, says so can I say that no, let me learn. this constitution says that if you are a neck member and adverse findings are made against you and you want to appeal. The day it is communicated to you, you have 21 days. As we speak, the 21 days has not elapsed. Mm -hmm. Yet, people are acting as chairman. He's being referred to as suspended chairman. You see why we insist that he's the chairman? I've read the party's constitution to you. So until the 21 days is elapsed, he's still the national chair of the NPP. Now, let's, let's look at this. Even if it elapses. Mm. Some of us will continue, some of us in the party, so long as the law was not used, we we'll continue to refer to him as the national chairman. It's in defense of the party constitution. I will implore you people in the media to get copies 
I'm, 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 I'm quiet. I'm no, just. I'm, I'm, I'm looking like I'm quiet, looking you like see, because, because it's like you. You have. I, I get you are someone's spokesperson, but you are the largest opposition party in Ghana. You keep the government on the toes, yes. And then if this is happening, then you, you are like, okay, well, even if it lapses, we will still fight, no. and then we'll still see him as our national so chair. What you, what you are suggesting is that yeah, if you suffer injustice, you keep keep quiet and suffer it. Not necessarily. So why not? Decision, why not decision. go through? No, what, how can we leave that decision no, if we hear that, things every day? Today, you press press, uh, you know, conferences. The next time something, someone dies. You in, know what he's telling you? What was that telling he's me? He's telling you that the decision is wrong. Mm. People don't just get up and act in a certain manner. But what, what, of, what of the uh, accusation that, you know, that, that, that Bugri Naba said that, uh, you know, Afoko is, is a mole now, Bu? He's yeah, a mole? Yeah, he's, he's a mole planted, you know, in the NPP. Yeah. I mean, how can you, you say see, this? What, you what do you make of this? Let me, let me take you back, then I'll come to this, with all respect to you, irresponsible statement from Bugri Naba. You see, why can't those who are pushing to get the national chairman out also say that, oh, if we have not gone through due process, let's be humble enough for the sake of unity, for the sake of rule of law, for the sake of what we want to achieve in 2016. Let's reverse the processes. We will stop them from doing that. I'm asking you this question because you said, why can't Afoku? Your question is like, oh, the onus or the bedding is on Afoku to, no, to but if, if you know if we can't have two captains in a ship, exactly. But if you're in a marriage, if you're in a marriage, and then you you are all like captains, can it work? It will never work. One exactly. will have to so exactly. Who, who is the captain, and who later joins? So one should captain. decide. So why not Afoko decide so to, to be the, the the servants now, and then go to them, and then uh, say, "Well, uh, I've come. Let's talk." Agosia. Yes. Let me tell you one. Thing. I'm listening. Let's not push that responsibility onto Afoku alone and create the impression that it is only Afoku who can take certain steps to bring peace into the party if there is no peace. Those who have ganged up against him. Can, you, men them, can you mention those? Oh, Freddie Blair is one. Anybody who attends any illegal meeting, don't you hear them commenting on radio and, in, and on TV? And the unfair situation is that they are free to say all kinds of things, including sometimes insults, like the one you just mentioned to me that a certain Bugri Nabu is saying that uh, the national chairman is a mole. Seriously, Bugri Nabu, who has or who has the record of defecting to the NDC before and coming back, has the moral courage and authority to refer to a national chairman who has been MPP so, all so, this while as a mole. Nana, when will these things end? When? When? No, you get a question of me end. that when you ask no. the question, you are not interested in the answers. Uh, no, I, I am. Because Bukri Nabu cannot sit <laughs> as a defectee. He went into NDC. It's a matter of public record. And came back to refer to somebody who has virtually all his life being MPP or the UP tradition. You see, they know that the ordinary man on the street, when they say, oh, Akosuya, who is supposed to be MPP, with all respect to you, is flirting with the NDC. The ordinary MPP person on the street would develop some hatred for Akosuya without thinking about the veracity or otherwise of that statement. So they throw those things out. For the unsuspecting member of the public, including members of the MPP, to say, oh, if he's flirting with the MPP, uh, NDC, then he's wreaking havoc for the party. Where is the proof? They go to the extent, the ridiculous extent, of saying that, oh, they've bought Mr. Foucault a vehicle. That wasn't true. If you know Mr. Foucault, you think that vehicle is something you can use to uh, entice him? For me, that's the height of disrespect. If you can reduce our national chairman to that level. No, no. When will this thing end? Tell me. When? When 
all of us as members of the MPP decide to look at each other in the face and say that let this constitution work. Members of the party will be at peace with each other. And we can forge ahead in unity. In this hula balu that is going on, I don't think there's a victor or a loser. We'll be right back. The Hard Truth Season 9 with Akosia Konedu. Proudly brought to you by Echo Bank. We see a great future, one that's full of opportunity for those who want to be the best. With over 1,000 branches of a single bank across 33 African countries, it's a future where trade can flourish without boundaries. The future is breathtaking enormous cross-border investments helping business and government build new infrastructure while individuals achieve their ambitions right across Africa. The future is Pan-African and EcoBank is the Pan-African Bank. Welcome back to The Hard Truth, proudly brought to you by EcoBank and Nanayao Osei, Afokos, or Chairman Afokos spokesperson is still here. And uh, we're going on to take some views from the public on the, the NPP Bruha High and that. This is what Ghana had to say. The issue of Afoko and Kwabna uh, Japan uh, not mingling with the other exec executive is, is, is really an issue. but. I think that they have to manage their egos. The, 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 the supreme interest of the party overrides that of any individual. So I call on the, 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 the so-called big men within the party to, to, to at least humble themselves and then come together as a united force to fight the NDC. Nipa Bibri or GB said, to Obama and Fumi in Ria and said, what an anado. Well, well, one agenda 2020 yeah, yeah, big mistake. We be blame Freddie Blay. Yeah, big mistake MPP for yeah yeah say yeah to abandon the ma coming to Japan ne Afoku. I think what is going on is very bad. I think the opposition party needs to sit down with their leaders so that they solve this problem because they are the biggest opposition party we have in Ghana now. And the whole country side yeah. Uh, <laughs> Afoko and, and his folks are really, really causing a big uh, harm to the party. His, his supporters, he should be able to talk to them. He should be able to talk to those who are fighting for him. For example, those who marched to the party head office just this week. They took the shine off what the flag bearer was doing, the message he was giving the people. And it doesn't work well for the party. If he loves the party, he should turn to the people who are claiming to be championing his goal. A lot of people will lose confidence in them. Me, for instance, I've already lost confidence in them. If I should be an MPP man, I wouldn't be voting for MPP in 2016. Because one thing is that Ghana first. We need a party that can manage the affairs of Ghana. And currently looking at the state of affairs of MPP, there is no, there is nothing that shows that they are ready for power in 2016. So, Anana, you may watch the videos and uh, they are not happy. Management of egos and uh, someone also said, someone <coughs> talked about, uh, you know, uh, 
there, there was a mistake going for Afoko in the party. People are not happy. I mean, what, what can you say that, that, talking about that? Yes, that? Um, that, that is what the person who said voting for Afoko was a mistake. Mm. Either he himself was a delegate or that is what he's been told. You see, a one-sided story has been pushed through the media. People have been misinformed. You see, how it takes you to tango. Why are people ready to break the law to achieve an end? Well, why would you say that people are breaking the law because they are not following the yes. constitution of the NPP? You see, I sit here and insist, and I even ask the question, uh, what has Afuku done? Is it enough for anybody to just get up and level an allegation against somebody? Then that is it. Uh -huh. You see? Right. So I agree with some of them who say that there's a need for the party to sit down and solve the matter. If we want to move forward in unity and work hard and possibly... We no, but that's why I asked you. So if the other part is not willing to come forth, why not your part, you know, focus mm -hmm. side going to them and say, let's discuss this for the peace of the party? Because you are, if you are not ready to talk to me and I come... How would you know? How would you know you are not ready to talk to you? No. Have you tried? The point is that... Have I, you tried? No, 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 please. I feel mistreated by you. I feel mistreated by you. It will take a certain level of consultations for you and me to sit down and talk. I cannot just get up and come to you for you to mistreat me. Now, now the public, you know, from what they are saying, everybody's like, well, we don't know what's going to happen in the party. I mean, what's going to happen in the party and now it's going to affect 2016. What, what can you tell Ghana now? People, you know, talking and saying things in their head. You are talking about we don't get the issues and all that. To tell them. Talk no, to but what I want to tell uh, viewers, mm. especially members of the MPP, is that it is possible we can come together as a united force and prosecute our agenda 2016 and win, it is still possible. But the mentality of some party members, that if Akosia is a member, we should dismiss him, we should sack him. But do you have factions in your own party? Why? In any big organization, is it wrong to have factions? It's not wrong, it's but not when, wrong. when it's going, you know, to, to a, something what, what, different, what, what, what then I'm that's a problem. That, you see, the point is that all of us, as party members, we need each other. No. So the mentality of get across here away, get this person off, get this person off, I'm saying that the votes you are very sure of, you are driving them away. How sure are you that when you go out there, the person who is not your member will vote for you? And it's a how I sure. was thinking. I was yeah. thinking that it is said that you protect what you have. Then you move out to go and get some to come and top up if it is not enough for you. So those we are sure will vote MPP. Let's not antagonize them unnecessarily. Because whether you go and vote or not, I cannot tell. No. Because on election day, I will go and vote, you may not go and vote. Nana, even if Paul is reinstated as chairman, mm -hmm. and then we have the support of all the party structures and officials yeah. right down to the grassroots, to the, you know, the spearhead of the campaign and, 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 and things like that in 2016, and the opposition you know, gathered through the folders of the use of the MPP party campaign and all that. What happens? Is there like a sure win or anything? No, no, nobody can say that, oh, you can be 100% sure that you are winning elections. 
I, I don't see any political party. Maybe that's not the question that. that I want to ask. Not a sure win, but would that work? Now, he won't get the, the backing of the, the, you know, the people you're talking about because it's divided. Mm -hmm. Let's say tomorrow... Who won't get the backing? Afoko. Let's say tomorrow Afoko is called back. Afoko, please come back and be our chairman again. Do you think that everyone in the party will rally behind him? Afoko is already a chairman. And I've told you that some people met, delegates met, over 4,500. They met and elected their chairman. So the issue of come back and be our chairman again. Mm. It's a question of come back and continue with your work. Or nobody will interfere in your work. You understand? Mm -hmm. I believe that if we, we sit down, as I indicated to you earlier, and we are sincere with ourselves as party members, and we are clear about what we want, that is winning power, I don't, beyond winning power, I don't think there should be something else which is so important to us as party members. Is that important to you now? Very, it, very isn't important. Isn't just a focal important now to some, some of you? Uh, I, I, are you, what, what are you what, implying? I'm, I'm not implying anything, but I'm just, you, as, I'm, I'm just an observer. No, but are individuals, yeah. other individuals in the party not more important to some people but as well why okay so let that me is just why is I the focus nana is the focus is the focus to win 2016 or the focus is just to you know uh, you know work on up and mm -hmm. then making him the, I, I, the, the your line of questioning i'm surprised at it because i just told you that it's not it is not about a it is about but a if, if it's not about him and uh, then why do you and, insist why do you insist that People no, 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 I'm, I'm not insisting. You're insisting. No, Why I'm not. Because I am in this country, mm -hmm. things happen Please. every day. Yes. And I'm asking and, and, you, and is that it... You want to make the point that whether the law is applied or not, the affected person must suffer in silence. That is what you are... I'm not saying that. I'm not saying... Because your question is, yes. no, no. I have never. Focal, I, no, because, I'm because I'm discussing him. Because I'm discussing a focal. Because, no. because, because I, I that, believe I that, that you are sir. Discussing the current happenings within the MPP. No, no. I've been be, discussing a focal as a Listen person. to me, sir. Mm -hmm. Listen. I'm asking you because I feel that personally. I mm -hmm. feel. If the other part, because I, I've been humming on this since we started this interview, yes. if the other part is not willing to come forth, okay. why not go forth? Now why have you also all this while not turned your questions? To, to what? That the other side must also be playing the role you insist. I will, I because the you other side is not here, you are here. No, that is unfair. I'm going because to talk to the other no, side. You talk to the other side, no problem. <laughs> but I'm saying that, I'm saying that it takes two. To tango. So if you need peace, you need all sides. The Hard Truth Season 9 with Akosia Konedu. Proudly brought to you by Echo Bank. At Echo Bank, we see a great future. One that's full of opportunity for those who want to be the best. With over 1,000 branches of a single bank across 33 African countries. It's a future where trade can flourish without boundaries. The future is breathtaking with enormous cross-border investments helping business and government build new infrastructure while individuals achieve their ambitions right across Africa. The future is Pan-African, and EcoBank is the Pan-African bank. I heard this very disturbing thing about, um, you know, who said that? Ewa, Ejebe Ewa, you know, he said that it's better for the NPP to lose uh, the 2016 election without a suspension of a focal uh, than to win and to have you know ongoing challenges well, what would you say to that and were you happy with it well i'm asking you no you should know that is why i keep telling you that don't make it look like 
because I speak for Afuku, all the questions and responsibilities you think should be on Afuku. Look at what Ajayi was just put out. Look at the mentality. Do you think Ajayi Baiwa, who has clearly demonstrated that he is against the national chairman, has any good mind for the party? How can an elder of the party speak the way he did? How can an elder of the party not be talking about, look, if the man says we've not taken him through the prescriptions of the constitution, as an elder of the party, let's look at it and go back and take him through the prescriptions. But look at what he's put out there on TV. And you are putting that to me now. And <laughs> you think they're coming from him. I'm asking you. What do you no, think of coming from him? What do you think and of where it? he represents? Obviously he's against Afoku. So what would you say to that? It's unfortunate. I think that an elderly person should not be speaking the way he did. He shouldn't. Because those comments can't move us forward. I've been with you for some time now. Yeah. Have you heard me insult somebody? No. Have you heard me make comments that has the potential of uh, pushing people away from the party? Because I have to be responsible in my comments. I have to. Because the party is there. We may have individual interest. If today I'm no longer a member of the MPP. The MPP will be there. If for nothing at all, at least in name, it will be there. Those who remain in MPP will make sure the MPP is there. But as to whether the MPP will win power or not, that is another matter. So we should look beyond our personal interests. Finally, finally, what would you tell um, people in your party? You, you have different factions now. As a spokesperson of Afoko, what is the message to everyone in NPP now? The message is that the hula balu in our party now is not about Mr. Afoko. He insists. In fact, according to Mr. Afoko, if we don't win 2016, winning 2020 will be very difficult for us as a party. So for him, he's so clear in his mind that whatever is legally permissible. We should do it, come together, prosecute the 2016 agenda, and move into power before we can think of retaining power in 2020. So this can be solved before the elections? Is it possible to solve it's, before the it's, elections? It's, it's a possibility. There's the possibility. I'm, I'm looking forward to a, a day when genuinely a meeting of all stakeholders will be called. And you will call me one day to ask that, oh, there was a stakeholders meeting to tell try me about it. I, <laughs> and iron out that and be great. Oh, right. not attend. Mm -hmm. No. If such a, a meeting is put together, I want to assure you that if the intention and everything is genuine, Mr. Foko will be the first person to be there. You'll be the first person to be there. Nana, thank you so much for talking to the You're hard welcome. truth. Nana Yao Ose, spokesperson of uh, Paul Afoko, the chairman of the NPP. My name is Nana Akusia Kunedo, and the show is proudly brought to you by Echo Bank, the Pan African Bank. Thanks to Diva for the lovely makeup and absolute fashion for my lovely dress and shoe and uh, reflex images. Thank you. Good evening. The Hard Truth, Season 9, with Akosia Konedu. Proudly brought to you. That, oh, they bought Mr. Foucault a vehicle. That wasn't true. If you know Mr. Foucault, you think that vehicle is something you can use to uh, entice him 
For me, that's the height of disrespect. If you can reduce our national chairman to that level. No, no. When will these things end? Tell me. When? When all of us as members of the MPP decide to look at each other in the face and say that let this constitution work. Members of the party will be at peace with each other. And we can forge ahead in unity. In this hula baloo that is going on, I don't think there's a victor or a loser. We'll be right back. The Hard Truth Season 9 with Akosia Konedu. Proudly brought to you by Echo Bank. see a great future, one that's full of opportunity for those who want to be the best. With over 1,000 branches of a single bank across 33 African countries, it's a future where trade can flourish without boundaries. The future is breathtaking with enormous cross-border investments helping business and government build new infrastructure. While individuals achieve their ambitions right across Africa. The future is Pan-African and Ecobank is the Pan-African bank. Welcome back to The Hard Truth, proudly brought to you by Ecobank and Nanayao or say Afokos, or Chairman Afokos spokesperson is still here. And uh, we're going on to take some views from the public on the, the NPP Bruha High and uh, this is what Ghana had to say. The issue of Afoko and Kwabna uh, Jepo uh, not mingling with the other exec executive is, is, is really an issue. but. I think that they have to manage their egos. The, 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 the supreme interest of the party overrides that of any individual. So I call on the, 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 the so-called big men within the party to, to, to at least humble themselves and then come together as a united force to be ahead of the campaign and, 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 and things like that in 2016. And the opposition you know, gathered through the folders of the use of the MPP party campaign and all that. What happens? Is there like a sure win or anything? No, nobody can say that, oh, you can be 100% sure that you are winning elections. I, I don't see any political party. Maybe that's not the question that. that I want to ask. Not a sure win, but would that work? Now, he won't get the, the backing of the, the, you know, the people you're talking about because it's divided. Mm -hmm. Let's say tomorrow... Who won't get the backing? Afoko. Let's say tomorrow Afoko is called back. Afoko, please come back and be our chairman again. Do you think that everyone in the party will rally behind him? Afoko is already a chairman. And I've told you that some people met, delegates met, over 4,500. They met and elected their chairman. So the issue of come back and be our chairman again. Mm. It's a question of come back and continue with your work. Or nobody will interfere in your work. You understand? Mm -hmm. I believe that if we, we sit down, as I indicated to you earlier, and we are sincere with ourselves as party members, and we are clear about what we want, that is winning power, I don't, beyond winning power, I don't think there should be something else which is so important to us as party members. Is that important to you now? Very, it, very isn't important. Isn't just a focal important now to some, some of you? I, 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 are you, what, what are you what, implying? I'm, I'm not implying anything, but I'm just, you, as, I'm, I'm just an observer. No, but are individuals, you, other individuals in the party not more important to some people? But as well, why okay? So let that me is just why is I the focus Nana, is the focus is the focus to win 2016 or the focus is just to you know, uh, you know, work on up and mm -hmm. then making him the, I, I, the, the your line of questioning. I'm surprised at it because I just told you that it's not it is not about a 
It is about but if, if it's not about him, and uh, then why do you insist? Why do you insist that? People no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not insisting. No, Why I'm not. Because I am in this country. Things happen Please. every day. Yes. And I'm asking and, you, and, and is it... You want to make the point that whether the law is applied or not, the affected person must suffer in silence. That is what you are... I'm not saying that. I'm not saying because your questions is, no, no. Focus, I have never focus, focus, focus. Uh, no that because I'm discussing him no. because I'm discussing the focus because no. because because I, I, because I that, believe I that, that said the current happenings within the MPP no. that uh, four four C the executive committee shall make any recommendation it deems fit to promote discipline within the party, including the suspension and or expulsion of a member. The recommendation automatically comes into full force and effect where no appeal is lodged against, against it in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. So are you this, saying this constitution so, says so can I say that let me, let me learn. this constitution says that if you are a net member and adverse findings are made against you and you want to appeal, the day it is communicated to you, you have twenty one days. As we speak, the twenty one days has not elapsed. Mm -hmm. Yet people are acting as chairman. He's being referred to as suspended chairman. You see why we insist that he's the chairman? I've read the party's constitution to you. So until the 21 days is lapsed, he's still the national chair of the NPP. Now, let's, let's look at this. Even if he lapses, mm. some of us will continue, some of us in the party. So long as the law was not used, we'll continue to refer to him as the national chairman. It's in defense of the party constitution. I will implore you people in the media to get copies and subject. I, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm quiet. I'm no, just. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at. I'm quiet looking at you see, because, because it's like you. You have. I, I get you are someone's spokesperson, but you are the largest opposition party in Ghana. You keep the government on the toes. Yes, and then if this is happening, then you, you are like okay. Well, even if it lapses, we will still fight, no. and then we'll still see him as our national so chair. What you, what you are suggesting is that yeah, if you suffer injustice, you keep keep quiet and suffer it. Not necessarily. So why not? Decision, why not decision. go through? No, what, how can we leave that decision no, if we hear that, things every day? Today, you press press, uh, you know, conferences. The next time, something someone dies. You in, know what he's telling you? What was that telling he's me? He's telling you that the decision is wrong. Mm. People don't just get up and act in a certain manner. But what, what of what of the uh, accusation that you know that that, that Bugri Naba said that uh, you know Afoko is a is a mole now, bro. Is a mole. Yeah, he's is a mole planted, you know, in the NPP. Yeah. I mean, how can you, you say see, this? What, you what do you make of this? Let me let me take you back. Then I'll come to this. With all respect to you, irresponsible statement from Bugri Naba. You see, why can't those who are pushing to get the national chairman out? also say that, oh, if we have not gone through, can't move us forward. I've been with you for some time now. Yeah. Have you heard me insult somebody? No. Have you heard me make comments that has the potential of uh, pushing people away from the party? Because I have to be responsible in my comments. I have to. Because the party is there. We may have individual interest. If today I'm no longer a member of the MPP, the MPP will be there. If for nothing at all, at least in name, it will be there. Those who remain in MPP will make sure the MPP is there. But as to whether the MPP will win power or not, that is another matter. So we should look beyond our personal interests. Finally, finally, what would you tell? Um, people in your party, you, you have different factions now. As a spokesperson of Afoko, what is the message to everyone in NPP now? The message is that the hula baloo in our party now 
it's not about Mr. Fuku. He insists. In fact, according to Mr. Fuku, if we don't win 2016, winning 2020 will be very difficult for us as a party. So for him, he's so clear in his mind that whatever is legally permissible, we should do it, come together, prosecute the 2016 agenda, and move into power before we can think of retaining power in 2020. So this can be solved before the elections? Is it possible to solve it's, before the it's, elections? It's, it's a possibility. There's the possibility. I'm, I'm looking forward to a, a day when genuinely a meeting of all stakeholders will be called. And you call me one day to ask that, oh, there was a stakeholders meeting to tell try me about it <laughs> and iron out that would be great to right not attend. Mm -hmm. no if such a, a meeting is put together i want to assure you that if the intention and everything is genuine mr Fogo will be the first person to be there you'll be the first person to be there nana thank you so much for talking to the hard truth nana yao also a spokesperson of uh Paula Foko, the chairman of the NPP. My name is Nana Akusia Kunedo, and the show is proudly brought to you by Echo Bank, the Pan African Bank. Thanks to Diva for the lovely makeup and absolute fashion for my lovely dress and shoe and uh, reflex images. Thank you. Good evening. Out could also have said that, oh, yes, one of us. Is being accused of A, B, C, D. Let's legally, constitutionally, afford him all the processes to, 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 to respond to the allegations. Mm. Why were they in a hurry? So, has Afok also written to them to say that I, I think that having been treated fairly and I think we should go through the process legally by our constitutional, his, uh, you know, his lawyers, handbook? His lawyers did because they wanted a ruling or a decision on the objection to their jurisdiction. I tell you, you can't listen to my matter. Mm -hmm. You have to say something in respect of that. Oh, I can listen to it, or I can go into the matter because of A, B, C, D, you, before you proceed. All these things do not happen. Mm. Then somebody calls a meeting. You see, in this our party constitution, a national chairman is only a person who can call a neck meeting. But if that person's on suspension, no. can he call Even a neck before, meeting? Please, please, in the same party constitution, if the appeal period, the days limited for appeal, has not elapsed, you are not referred to as a suspended chairman. Mm. If my memory will serve me right, if you permit me, I'll read Article 4, please do. 4, C or so. Please do. And it will tell you. But what, what have you heard? What is being pushed in the media? That uh, four four C, the executive committee shall make any recommendation it deems fit to promote discipline within the party, including the suspension and or expulsion of a member. The recommendation automatically comes into full force and effect where no appeal is lodged against against it in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. So are you this, saying this constitution so, says so can I say that so let me learn. this constitution says that if you are a neck member and adverse findings are made against you and you want to appeal. The day it is communicated to you, you have 21 days. As we speak, the 21 days has not elapsed. Mm -hmm. Yet, people are acting as chairman. He's being referred to as suspended chairman. You see why we insist that he's the chairman? I've read the party's constitution to you. So until the 21 days is elapsed, he's still the national chair of the NPP. Now people don't just get up 
and act in a certain manner. But what, what of what of the uh, accusation that you know that that, <laughs> that Bugri Naba said that uh, you know Afuko is a is a mole Nabu. Is a mole. Yeah, he's a, he's a mole planted, you know, in the NPP. Yeah. I mean, how can you, you say see, this? What, you what do you see, make of this? Let me let me take you back. Then I'll come to this, with all respect to you, irresponsible statement from Bugri Nabu. You see, why can't those who are pushing to get the national chairman out also say that, oh, if we have not gone through due process, let's be humble enough for the sake of unity, for the sake of rule of law, for the sake of what we want to achieve in 2016. Let's reverse the processes. We we'll stop them from doing that. I'm asking you this question because you said, why can't Afoku? Your question is like, oh, the onus or the burden is on Afoku. To, no, to but if, if you know, if we can't have two it captains in a ship, exactly. But if you're in a marriage, if you're in a marriage, and then you you are all like captains, can it work? It will never work. One will have to so exactly. Who, who is the captain? And who later joined? So one should captain. decide. So why not Afoko deciding so to, to be the, the, the servants now and then go to them and then uh, say, yeah, well, yeah, I've yeah. come. Let's talk. Agosia. Yes. Let me tell you one thing. I'm listening. Let's not push that responsibility onto Afoko alone and create the impression that it is only Afoko who can take certain steps to bring peace into the party if there is no peace. Those who have ganged up against him, can you, them, can you mention those? Oh, Freddie Blair is one. Anybody who attends any illegal meeting, don't you hear them commenting on radio and, and on TV? And the unfair situation is that they are free to say all kinds of things, including sometimes insults, like the one you just mentioned to me, that a certain Bugri Nabu is saying that uh, the national chairman is a mole. Seriously, Bugri Nabu, who has or who has the record of defecting to the NDC before and coming back, has the moral courage and authority to refer to a national chairman who has been MPP. So, all so this while Nana, as a mole. Nana, when will these things end? When? When? No, you can't tell me end. that when you ask no. the question, you are not interested in the answers. Uh, no, I, I am. Because Bukri Nabu cannot sit <laughs> as a defectee. He went into NDC. It's a matter of public record. And came back to refer to somebody who has virtually all his life. Because I have to be responsible in my comments. I have to. Because the party is there. We may have individual interest. If today I'm no longer a member of the MPP, the MPP will be there. If for nothing at all, at least in name, it will be there. Those who remain in MPP will make sure the MPP is there. But as to whether the MPP will win power or not, that is another matter. So we should look beyond our personal interests. Finally, finally, what would you tell um, people in your party? You, you have different factions now. As a spokesperson of Afoko, what is the message to everyone in NPP now? The message is that the hula balu in our party now is not about Mr. Afoko. He insists. In fact, according to Mr. Afoko, if we don't win 2016, Winning 2020 will be very difficult for us as a party. So for him, he's so clear in his mind that whatever is legally permissible, we should do it, come together, prosecute the 2016 agenda, and move into power before we can think of retaining power in 2020. So this can be solved before the elections. Is it possible to solve it's, before the it's, elections? It's, it's a possibility. There's the possibility. I'm, I'm looking forward to a, a day when genuinely a meeting of all stakeholders will be called. And you call me one day to ask that, oh, there was a stakeholders meeting to tell try me about it and iron out <laughs> that would be great. Right. Not attend. Mm -hmm. No. 
if such a, a meeting is put together, I want to assure you that if the intention and everything is genuine, Mr. Afoko will be the first person to be there. You'll be the first person to be there. Nana, thank you so much for talking to the hard You're truth. Welcome. Nana Yao Ose, spokesperson of uh, Paul Afoko, the chairman of the NPP. My name is Nana Akusia Kunedo, and the show is proudly brought to you by Echo Bank, the Pan African Bank. Thanks to Diva for the lovely makeup and absolute fashion for my lovely dress and shoe and uh, reflex images. Thank you. Good evening. The Hot Truth.